previous videos in this series, we've discussed the importance of insulin and how to find the amount of insulin to give for meals and correction doses. When it comes to giving insulin, how does one actually give the injection? In this video, we'll walk you through the act of delivering insulin so you can feel confident in giving a traditional injection with a syringe. To draw up the insulin with the syringe, first inject air from the syringe into the vial of insulin and leave the needle in the vial. Next, turn the vial upside down with the needle still inside. Slowly pull the plunger of the syringe back and watch carefully as the insulin is withdrawn into the syringe. Remove any air bubbles in the syringe by flicking the side of the syringe with your finger to move the air to the top of the syringe. Then push the air back into the vial. Pull the plunger back until the insulin reaches the dose line that is needed. When the amount of insulin reaches the marker for the amount of insulin needed, remove the needle from the vial. If the insulin has been stored in the refrigerator recently, you can warm the vial up by holding it in your closed fist for a minute or so. This will help reduce the sting that children may feel when cold insulin is injected. It is important to rotate where insulin is delivered. If insulin is given in the same location each time, the skin may swell and the insulin will have a harder time being absorbed. It is also possible that the insulin absorption could be slowed down and get delivered too late, which could cause a low blood glucose when it is finally absorbed. Basal insulin, the long-acting type given once per day, is best delivered in the buttocks or thigh. Bolus insulin can be given at any of these sites and should be rotated frequently. Basal and bolus insulin can be given at the same time if needed, but the injection sites need to be kept separate. Be sure you have clean hands before giving an insulin injection. To give the shot, choose the site you will be injecting and ensure the area is clean by wiping it with an alcohol wipe. Relax the area first then pinch a small amount of skin between your thumb and forefinger. Bring the needle to the raised area and poke it through the skin. Push the plunger of the syringe slow and steady. Wait around 10 seconds to let the insulin spread under the skin. Let go of the pinched skin and put a clean finger or dry cotton puff over the site as it is pulled out carefully. Gently rub the area to prevent bleeding or bruising. Watch the injection site carefully to see if any drops of insulin come back through the hole in the skin. If it does, make a note in your diabetes log. If insulin comes back up regularly, it may be a sign that you need to keep the needle in place longer before removing it. If the child is uncomfortable with shots or injections, it can be helpful to have them look away and keep them distracted during the injection. Try talking about one of their interests to keep them engaged and distracted from the stress of the moment. If the child continues to have difficulty with shots, please talk to your diabetes team about strategies to make this easier. In the next video, we'll discuss some of the other methods and devices for giving insulin.